हेलो एवरी वन मै सेल्फ अमे मेहता एंड इन ऑपरेटिंग सीस्टम लेटेस्ट डिस्कस डोमेन प्रोटेक्शन मेकेनिजम ओके सो वॉट इज डोमेन प्रोटेक्शन मेकेनिजम सो अ कॉम्प्यूटर सीस्टम इज अ कलेक्शन ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट एंड प्रोसेसिस एंड दिस ऑब्जेक्ट एंड प्रोसेसिस आर नीडेड टू बी प्रोटेक्टेड ईच ऑब्जेक्ट हैज अ यूनिक नेम बाय वीच इट इज रिफर्ड एंड फाइनाइट सेट ऑफ ऑपरेशन दैट प्रोसेसिस आर अलाउड टू कैरी इट आउट carry out on it this means that it object like printer that scanner then other input or output devices so these are various object has a unique name or for example there may be a file name abc so this all are printer scanner file this are object has a unique name by which it is referred and finite set of operation that processes are allowed to carry out on it we can Uh, use this file for reading writing appending executing for printer we have to print operation for scanner we have to scan operation so these are the set of operation that processes are allowed to carry out on there should be some way to prohibit it proper processes from accessing object that they are not authorized to for example we want that the file abc should not be executed by anyone it must be in read and write form so there should be some way so we have to use particular method to prohibit processes from accesses object that they are not authorized to operation that are possible depend on the object for example the object is cpu what is the operation execution the uh, object is file what is the operation read and write the object is semaphore what is the operation we can perform on it up and down operation the object is step drive what is the operation we can perform it read write and rewind so these are the object and these are the operation we can perform on it now what is the task of of protection domain so the protection domain specify the resources that a process may access each domain defines a set of object and the types of operation that may be involved on each object so this is a domain d1 d2 and d3 this is the domain now how we can define a domain so a domain is defined as a set of object comma access right it has And it should be enclosed within this bracket. Note that some domains may be disjoint while others overlap. So the D one domain is disjoint, and D two and D three are overlapped. The association between a process and a domain may be static. That means a fixed set of resources available to a process throughout its lifetime or dynamic, or it may be a dynamic okay so this is how that a domain is defined now let us discuss how we can use this domain and what is the access metric mechanism so uh, the model of protection can be viewed as an access matrix in which column represent different system resources and rows represent different protection domains so basically what that column represent different system resources and rows represent so here it this rows represent different protection domains and this column represents this different system resources entries within the matrix indicate what access that domain has to that resource each cell of matrix represents set of access rights which are given to the processes of domain means each entry i comma j defines the set of operation that a process executing in domain d i can invoke an object o j so set of operation that process executing in domain d i can invoke an object o j let us discuss it via this table so this is the we can say that here as we mentioned that that column represent different system resources so this is different system resources f1 f2 f3 and printer and 
rows represent different protection domains so this is different protection domains d1 d2 d3 d4 now domain d1 can you read a file f1 and f3 only domain d2 can print domain d3 has access the file f2 to read and access the file f3 to execute or we can say that privilege to read file f2 and execute file f3 same way domain d4 has a privilege to read and write file f1 and read and write file f3 so this is how actually matrix work so according to uh, we can see the according to above matrix there are four domains d1 d2 d3 d4 four object in four object three are the files f1 f2 and f3 and one printer so a process executing in d1 can read files f1 and f3 as we discussed earlier a process executing in domain d4 has same rights as d1 but it can also write on files printer can accessed by only one process executing in domain d2 so the mechanism of access matrix consists of many policies and semantic properties specifically we must ensure that a process executing in domain di can access only those object that are specified in row i so this is how we are using this matrix okay so we discussed that what are the domain what are the object what are the domain protection mechanism and how we can use access matrix mechanism now let us discuss this table so this is same as previous but it is mentioned d1 d2 d3 d4 this is the domain and here also mentioned the switch what is the meaning of it let us discuss when we see which a process from one domain to another we execute a switch operation on an object or we can say that the domain we can control domain switching by including domains among the objects of the op access matrix processes should be able to switch from one domain to another domain if and only if is the switch right access is given to that particular i comma j so what happen according to this matrix a process executing in domain d2 can switch to domain d3 and d4 so let us see from this that a process executing in d2 it can switch to domain d3 and d4 same a process executing in domain d4 can switch to domain d1 so process executing in d4 can switch to domain d1 same a process executing in domain d1 can switch to domain d2 so this is how that switching can also define in this matrix okay so this is uh, all about how the domain protection mechanism is work and how the matrix will be useful for defining which object is accessed by which domain and what are the access are given to particular the domain so domain is nothing but that particular processes are executing or we can say that define in particular that domain okay so for example there is a domain d1 and in that there are two uh, two processes then process p1 and p2 have the all the access or rights of the domain d1 okay so this is all about it thank you